Hello everybody, it's Katherine Pooler. This is the next video in my series using the Fashionable Hearts and Bosslet. If you have not seen all the videos, click on the link below the video if you're watching on YouTube so you can go to my website and see the rest of the videos in this series. And today I'm going to try out a little technique that I've been wanting to try for a while and I'm using the Muse over at Case Study and it, I was excited because it gave me the perfect opportunity. I have the Newsprint Designer Series paper, oh this side is cool, by Stampin' Up, it's not Newsprint, I always think it's called Newsprint, it's first edition. These are cut out into one and three quarter inch square. I'm using my corner rounder here to round opposite corners of each square and my chocolate chip is just an eighth of an inch larger so that it just gives a nice border. So I adhered all my little pieces together and I stamped my greeting. I can't show it to you yet. It is a, going to be a celebration stamp set which starts next week on the 24th of January 2012. It's a special stamp set available um, every $50 purchase a customer makes you get a free stamp set or uh, another goodie like a pack of buttons or a pack of paper so be sure on the 24th of January to go check out my website for information on that and then um, also make sure you're signed up for my newsletter because you'll get first notification so you don't miss it so I'm just trying to get these centered here not centered but just lined up Actually, I should, probably should have done this one first because I want that happy birthday to be lined up with the middle of this uh, embellishment here. And then I'm going to use the hearts in Melon Mambo, Bashful Blue, and So Saffron. I'm going to adhere these with my liquid glue. If you've watched my other videos, you know that little embossed pieces like this. I like to use liquid glue. Gives me better coverage. It adheres them really, the pieces really nicely to my project. Now I could uh, leave my card as is or I can use some more of these fancy little hearts. Just cut a little piece of dimensional and add them right heart on top of heart. A little rhinestone to the center of each heart finishes it off and we are done with our card. Hope you enjoyed this project Stamp Nation members I promise there is another video tutorial coming for you I'm thinking rainbows and hearts so stay tuned for that and if you are not a member of my newsletter make sure you hop over to katherinepooler.com and subscribe to it right away so you don't miss a thing if you like this video click the like button and share it with your friends thanks so much have a wonderful day and happy stamping